This is 3D right now. We're, these are active shutter glasses. Active shutter glasses are literally put flashing a, a, a shutter in front of your eyes. They're blocking light here and then blocking light here in time sequence. So you're doing this with the light going to your eyes. All the TVs on the market today require active shutter glasses. They won't for long. In fact, uh, at CES in January, you will be seeing uh, announcements of new uh, passive gla based uh, glasses so that you won't have to wear the, the shutter glasses. You'll use the passive polarized type. In terms of the, 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 the TVs themselves, they'll probably be fairly comparably priced. But if you look at the total solution of the TV plus the glasses, the active shutter solution may actually be a little bit more expensive. In, in 2010, we saw really the introduction of the flat panel um, solutions right now, LCD TVs and plasma TVs that are 3D capable. The best near-term solution is going to be the passive uh, polarized solution because those glasses are going to be cheap and it'll be very easy to buy lots of glasses for your friends. In 2011, we're forecasting about three, about uh, nine and a half million units will be sold uh, worldwide. No glasses 3D TV, uh, good question. Um, there's a lot of speculation about that. Um, there are some um, uh, professional products out there that you can use now. There are a lot of trade-offs. Um, what we think is, because we try to track the technology here, it's probably going to be three to five years, probably more on the four to five year time frame, um, and probably going to be fairly expensive to start.